Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Consider the graph of the ellipse x squared over 9 plus y squared is equal to 1 in the first quadrant. Graph the line y is equal to x over 2 and consider the region bounded by this line, the ellipse, and the x-axis. Now consider the same ellipse in the first quadrant and consider the line y is equal to mx. Now consider the region bounded by this line, the ellipse, and the y-axis. The question is to solve for the value of m so the green and blue areas are equal. A version of this problem appeared on the 1994 Putnam exam, and I thank Nierman for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. There's an incredible trick to solve this problem. We will do a change of coordinates with a linear transformation. Let x1 be equal to x over 3, and let y1 be equal to y. So in the xy plane, we have the graph of an ellipse. What will happen after this linear transformation? The ellipses will turn into circles, and the regions will turn into circular sectors. Now the original green and blue areas will be equal, if and only if the transformed green and blue areas are equal because we've done a linear transformation that stretches both areas by the same factor. So now let's see where the lines go. The line y is equal to x over 2 will become the line y1 is equal to 3x1 over 2. Now this green area will be equal to the blue area if and only if they are reflections of each other about the line y1 is equal to x1. So let's take this line y1 is equal to 3x1 divided by 2, and let's reflect it about the line y1 is equal to x1. To do that, we change the y1 and x1 coordinates, and then we can solve for y to get y1 is equal to 2x1 divided by 3. So we've solved for this line in the green region. Now all we have to do is transform it back into our original coordinates. So we will do a change of coordinates back. We will now do the reverse transformation that x is equal to 3x1 and y is equal to y1. Upon this transformation, we get the line y is equal to 2x divided by 9. Therefore, m is equal to 2 over 9. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.